Hey, Rick Hustich here. On my channel, we'll discuss fly fishing tips, techniques, and some fun adventures, so stay tuned. Today, we're gonna to talk about close encounters with muskies and when a muskie follows a fly right to the boat. Why a, a muskie follows a fly or a bait is, is open to great discussion. I think one of the main reasons is as a top of the food chain predator, uh, it affords that fish to be extra cautious. Um, but I also think that it follows looking for um, you know, the perfect uh, angle of attack, finding a certain vulnerability in its prey. So let's take a look at some of the tips, some of the techniques uh, you know, that can be used when you have uh, a muskie follow your fly to try to convert that follow into a, a solid hookup. I always have the rod tip in the water as I strip the fly back or perform any maneuvers near the boat. I strip the fly back so that it's within about a foot or two of the, the tip of the rod. I use two hands on the rod as I'm performing any maneuvers, a figure eight or an oval near the boat. It allows for more control, more speed. The, the line is pinched off with the rod hand and also grabbed by the hand that is managing the butt of the rod. Okay, as I retrieve the fly in and gets closer to the boat, I'll look to see if there's any fish following. But whether there's a fish following or not, I'm gonna roll right into the figure eight. And I want to uh, you know, roll into it without any hesitation. So if there's any fish following and you wanna keep it engaged, and less likely he'll see you and you know, really wanna engage that fish and allow it to continue to follow. Most of the time I use a, an oval as opposed to the actual figure eight motion. And I'll do this two or three times whether I see a fish or not. If I have a fish continuing to follow in a figure eight, I'll continue to do it until I either hook that fish or, or he uh, slips away. Um, what I like to do when I'm figure eighting is make big wide turns, whether you go with an oval or a figure eight. It allows a big fish to follow it and keep track of the fly as, it, as the fly moves around. And also what I like to do is speed, that fly, speed the motion up as you go into the turns. That seems to be a real trigger point for fish. So as I turn that fly, speed it up, and then what I like to do is also just continue to speed it up throughout the whole process if I have a fish following. A lot of times those, those tips and those techniques will uh, get a big muskie to, to commit.